Hey there, I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things, welcome. Today, it's time to figure out how to get some of my older retro gaming systems on the road with me. Lately, I've been going to more retro computer and gaming shows, and when I go to them, I usually like to take something with me to show off at the show, Usually it's my Coco 3 because that's the most transportable thing that I have and I've often got to go a long way to get to these shows. So I started thinking, you know, some of my favorite systems are coax out only and I don't really want to uh, modify them. I like to keep them original. If I get more versions of them, I'll probably modify them, but I always like to keep one completely original. And how would I show that off efficiently at a show? So I got thinking about that. Now I know how I take my Coco 3 to shows. So when I'm taking something like my Coco 3, for instance, I can use the uh, switcheroo that I have that comes out of the RGB port and take that into an HDMI port on one of these little monitors like this that are super easy to transport with me. If I'm using one of my old machines like my Intellivision, ColecoVision, Atari, well, they have coax. And coax, well, that's pretty much a big old CRT like this or one of my bigger uh, flat screen TVs that the coax will actually work in. And these things are big they're heavy, they're awkward to transport. So I got thinking, well, is there a way that I could hook up to this little monitor so that it would be way easier to transport and take with me to different shows and things? I know, I know, I can hear you saying, if I'm going to try and take a little monitor, why use this HDMI monitor when I could use a little flat screen like this one that already has a coax input on it? Well, if you've ever tried to hook old, these old machines up to these modern monitors, you know that they don't always work. Sometimes they will not tune in the signal that uh, the old uh, retro machine is outputting. So that's one problem. The other problem is the screens are really easy to damage on these things. If you may have noticed, I've used this uh, screen before and it's got some damage on the one side. That's from transporting it in the back of seat of my car, like, I don't know, 10 blocks to go from my business to my house. So they're easy to damage. Plus these, this little guy folds up really nice and small and fits right in a backpack. So basically my goal here is to get this entire setup to fit in one backpack. And for those of you that watch the channel, you may remember this little guy. This is a cable box from the 1980s. And this is what I use to capture footage off of my coax machines. So as I've shown in videos before, you just plug the coax in here and then you've got uh, composite out and you plug that into basically your capture card is what I usually use it for. But this time I'm going to be plugging it into this, which is a HDMI upscaler. So I plug my coax into or my uh, composite into the one side. HDMI out from the other side, then the HDMI can run into the monitor. And it's got a little power thing here that has to be plugged into USB. Also, the monitor is powered by USB. So I have this, which is a little USB hub, power hub. Now, all of these are definitely small enough that they'll all fit in one backpack. So Let's hook this up and see what it looks like. So I will demonstrate this with my Radio Shack Tandivision 1 here. So I have the coax cable coming out of the back of the Tandivision into the cable box over here. From the cable box, you have composite coming out into the upscaler, 
Upscaler goes into the monitor. Upscaler and the monitor are plugged into the power pack here and the power pack, cable box and Tandivision are plugged into the power bar back here. Now, yeah, there's a few cords here, but this will all fold up into one nice neat little package that will fit in a backpack. So, let's take a look at this in action. There you go. It is working. And of course, it doesn't just work with things like my Intellivision. I can also hook my MC10 up for this. I can even take my Atari 2600 with me somewhere now. Now you remember when I said that this entire setup would fit easily into a backpack? Well... There we go. Everything is nice neatly packed in one backpack. USB cables, a power bar, upscaler, cable box, the monitor, And the Intellivision. All nice and neatly in one backpack, easy to transport and take with me to any retro gaming shows that I want to. There we go, one backpack to fit that entire system in so that I can take some of those original coax systems with me to show off at shows. I think that's uh, pretty cool and uh, pretty efficient. Definitely a lot easier to transport than taking a small flat screen or a CRT with me because those are definitely bulkier and more fragile. So I think this little system is going to work out great. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and the commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated and greatly helps the channel. All right, well, until next time, see you later.